Hello, Washington here, and welcome back to some more Imineko when Seagulls Cry. Let's just continue. That old bastard gave an exaggerated laugh and said this. Nah, Batora. Do ste akumada no karuto da no te no waza waza kou ste eiga ni suru to omou? Cause fear is fun. Ne e kara da yo. Sonna kokkei na mongwa, chikyu no doko ni mo ne e no sa. Oh, and it's not just because they don't exist that people want to go to see it and people make a lot of effort making it. Because if that was the case, then we'd make other mundane things that don't exist and people wouldn't go out and see that. Um, hmm. Just thinking about um uh, something like um a uh, Lovecraftian horror where the aim is that it's something you don't know and it's that uncertainty and not knowing what it is um that actually gets more towards uh oral aspects of things than just vampires and zombies because we know what they're like and all and what they look like and everything um even if they are just fantasy and so they're not as scary anymore meanwhile trying to have something that you can't see in a movie doesn't quite work because you still get the visual aspect. Um, Doctor Who does some of that though. Um, like from memory, the episodes which were voted the scariest were like the Vashti Narada, which is just things in the night, uh, in the dark, um, which eat stuff. They hide in shadows, so you can't see them. The other one being the angels, where you can't see them while they're moving. They later made it less scary by actually showing you moving. But oh well, um, and the other one was, um, it's the, uh, well, I don't know what it was, but it's like a train kind of thing. Where even at the end, you have no idea what it was. Um, but it seems to take I'm not sure whether it's taking over the doctor or if it's because it copies him and then like over time it starts copying him at the same time and then it's copying overtakes him talking so yeah but a lot of the scary stuff works a lot better just reading rather than actually visual because then you can't see it Anyway, I don't know where I was going about that. I'll just continue. Wagaru ってのは <laughs> 心と生活にゆとりのある連中の娯楽的感情なのさ。Yeah. 暇で暇でしょうがないから。<laughs> 連中は変わった感情で心を遊ばせたくて、悪魔だのオカルトだのって文化を作り出したんだよ。People have always told stories. Seriously, why have I been acting so damn thick-headed? I was totally taken in. Don't try to mess with me. This is the human world. I don't give a damn about witches, demons, magic circles, and sacrifices. Wait, so that was the entire flashback? Okay, I was expecting them to go into like this deep, um, like this deep backstory kind of thing here, but okay. <laughs> the human who killed Dad and everyone else is still on this island. That's all there is to it, right? Next person who started speaking to my heart was Kiryu-san. Chess or shogi, then? Shuban no shuban. Tsume no saigo no dankai ni hai leba hai ru hodo. Sai zen shu wa kagirare te kuru no yo. Dakara, jibun ga oi tsume te iru. Arui wa oi tsume rare te iru to yu sono toki. Liu sha no te wa kagiri naku yomi yasuku naru no yo. I come. You trade away pieces to simplify the board. Um. So you're better able to calculate everything. 
つまり完全に追い詰められて打つ手なしって思ったその時こそ最も読みやすい瞬間なのよでも主勢に立った人間はどうしても考えが固くなって相手の手を読むことにまで考えが至らない、うん、そういう時はねチェス盤をひっくり返すの。My strength, I stuck my face with both hands. Now my eyes are truly open. You don't understand anything, and you're completely cornered, just like I am now. Isn't that the perfect time to spin the chessboard around? Along the defensive, I can't, we can't even guess at the corporate scheme. If we spin it around and look at it that way, just what else might we see? First off, at the time the corporate committed the murders, A new v i l a n d was got being cut off by the typhoon. Therefore, they should have understood that even if they carried out the murders, they wouldn't be able to get away early on the next morning. In short, the corporate had begun without securing a way to escape. Furthermore, that bastard tossed the corpses in the storehouse. It was then was even kind enough to say, Here they are! with that weird bit of graffiti. In other words, since he'd probably find the corpses sooner or later, They wanted to show them to us. If we'd all been dim, hadn't noticed the storage shed, the corporate's goal would not have been achieved, would it? <laughs> If you think about it this way, that bastard of a corporate. Since this morning, we must have been watching our every move with bated breath. After all, If we hadn't been so kind to discover what was in the storehouse, all of that hard work and preparation they did last night would have just gone poof. What, for the, what did the corporate want to make us feel by showing us the corpses in the storehouse? All six of the bodies had their faces noticeably destroyed. Um, I guess then, in that case, yeah, to cause fear and panic in the survivors. Um, was it a grudge? A warning? The defacement of the bodies had occurred after death. So it hadn't been the means by which the culprit had killed. It didn't mean anything to those who had been killed. But it could definitely mean something to the one doing the killing. It did have meaning to those who found the bodies. And, yeah. The culprit wanted to make it appear that they'd been killed so brutally. Well,. They were killed, and then Bruce Lee's face, so yes. Ha! After thinking this way, I really wanted to tell that bastard to stop taking me so lightly. If you just dance to that tune, if you're told, please be scared, you can't just say, really? Sure thing! <laughs> Someone tells the great Usher me a battle of. The entrance is right here. I'm the kind of guy who'll start wanting to sneak in through the window. <laughs> The next thing that had me concerned was that so called magic circle and the shutter. As Miriam, who had shown that her knowledge of the occult rivaled grandfathers, had recognized, that magic circle was genuine. It must have drawn that thing in pitch black darkness, taking a lot of time and holding an umbrella in one hand. I'm not sure if I mentioned this last time, but I did have the thought, like, maybe between parts? But, um. Yeah, when it was on the magic circle thing, freeing them from their. Um. Bonds and. Whatever it was. Um, how all of the. Um, families. Like, needed the money. Now they're freed from. Needing money now. Yeah. Um, isn't that amount of hard work and perfectionism impressive? What purpose would have been worth all that effort? If we were looking for a fan of the occult in this mansion, most likely, all of us would naturally suspect Grandfather. Did they want to make us think Grandfather was involved? But if that's all they wanted, they could have just drawn any old scribble that looked like a magic circle. It wasn't like any of us amateurs would be able to tell the difference between genuine and fake. However, this magic circle is genuine, and furthermore, it had even been written in Hebrew. So this magic circle had a message. 
I could only be understood by someone with knowledge of the occult. A message is a form of communication. Really? By sending it, they were hoping for a reaction. Reaction? For some reason, we can't find Grandfather now. I don't know how Grandfather might have spotted the magic circle on the shutter. I don't think he needs to, and I don't think that's really the message that got him to be. Did he choose to hide himself in reaction to that? No. He... I'm almost certain he left. Not long after ever left? Not ever. Um... Uh... Natsuhi left. And he was in a good mood because he knows that Beatrice has returned. Because six people have gone missing. Something which only Mar um, yeah, Maria has noticed. No one else is Oh, and Kinzo, presumably. Maybe the servants as well. Um, but definitely not the family. Uh, no? Is it a trap to make us suspect that Grandfather had participated? You could read it, read it either way. Damn, that's annoying. <laughs> what kind of reaction was the culprit hoping to get out of us by putting on this cult show? Somehow, that felt like the culprit's weak point. The letter from Beatrice that Maria had read aloud during last night's dinner sprang back into my mind. So you're going to think about this witch's epitaph, right? This is the freak you asked us to enjoy a battle of wits, you know. Isn't that interesting? This is a battle of wits between us and the witch. Will we be sucked up by her court game first? Or will we pull off her fake skin first? There's a whole day until the typhoon passes. Why not enjoy ourselves? To this death game. Yeah. Okay. Treat yourself. I finally noticed that the inside of the parlour had gone quiet again. Everyone had sunk into their favourite sofas, some deep in thought, some irritated, some acting depressed. Maria was once again enjoying the TV as if she'd never left it. It looked like she found the commercials more fun than the boring programme, and she happily yelled, ooh, ooh, and giggled. I stared at each person's appearance in turn. There isn't a 19th person. The culprit must be in this room. No? Because of the servants in there? I think the servants are doing something else, aren't they? You look rather angry. You look far too happy. Right now, Aunt Natsuhi's searching the mansion of the servants, right? Then we shouldn't say in this room. This mansion is where the culprit has to be. After all, there was also the possibility that Aunt Natsuhi was behind this. And we still can't deny that one of the servants might be the killer. Anyone could be guilty. Still, Aunt Natsuhi and the rest sure are taking their time. Uh, I had a thought that maybe, um... The skin, uh, thinking about the, and then there was none, one, none, I think. Um, but uh, maybe it, it could have even been one of the victims. But no, there was still enough of their faces left that they could identify all of them properly. It wasn't damaged enough that it could have been a uh, fake corpse. Hmm. Of course, it's not a small mansion, but isn't this taking a little too long just to walk around, checking the windows and doors? Actually, wait. Didn't all of Krauss's face go? No, half. No, that's right, half of it. Uh, Kyrie is entirely gone. There's some remaining of all of her faces except from Kyrie. So, maybe? Maybe it is a fake? 
Which you picked today? Hmm. Oh well. Probably not, but anyway. Just as I was thinking this, Aunt Natsui and Vares returned. Not one of them was missing. But our relief was short-lived. Everyone looked at Aunt Natsui in shock. <gasps> the talk I'd had with Aunt Eva started to creep back into my mind. The possibility that the culprits had enough numbers or weapons to kill all of these six at once. After all, that thing in Natsui's hand was a rifle. At a glance, the silhouette looked like a, hunt, a lot like a hunting gun. But it was unusually short and kind of like a kid-sized weapon. Yeah. It does look odd. However, it had weightiness to it. It had a weightiness to it that made it clear it was no kid's toy. それを金蔵さんの銃ですな。ご存知でしたか。そうです。お父様の古いコレクションの中にあったことを思い出し探し出してきました。ふう。すっげえ。夏山さん。それ本物なんですか。え、本日談を発表できますよ。昔お父様は
if you view Beatrice's letter as one of Grandfather's complicated pranks and think of his crime as just an extension of that, there's more than enough reason to suspect even Grandfather. Also, aren't Natsui fought for criminals on the outside? The town ever fought for criminals on the inside. In short, it was a question of whether or not a 19th person exists. That same question has been repeated endlessly since last night's dinner, with the letter from which from the witch who called herself Beatrice. Did so the culprit was among us, or not? And did the witch Beatrice exist, or not? I'm almost certain that she exists in some form. If you assume that something as stupid as witch can't exist, you're basically saying that one of these relatives here, who share a common bloodline, is a culprit. No. Okay, so there's four possibilities, kind of. Um, one, which exists, um, which exists as the 19th person, um, and is doing these actions, or for which exists but is not a 19th person, and there's something formless in a way, uh, and option that's option two. Option three, which doesn't exist, but for and for nineteenth person doesn't exist, and so it is one of the relatives. Or option number four, which doesn't exist. But there is a nineteenth person, but it's not for which, and is still not one of the relatives and wants to kill the people here. Heck, it could even be um Maria's father or something. But I would actually fish in with the um. Like, with how Maria knows the occult stuff, it might be because of influences from her mysterious father figure. Uh, he might want revenge on the family. That's another possibility. If that was too unpleasant, it would be much more comfortable to simply accept the fairy tale like creature of a witch. I mean, it wouldn't explain everything, but uh, if he's prepared enough. Um, beforehand and knows about which of Rock and Jimmy, maybe, and the um, uh, which is Epitaph, might be able to do something. A witch? A witch drawing a bizarre magic circle and offering human sacrifices? If I could accept that rubbish, I'd be able to trust all the people in this room. Over. Damn common sense got in the way. <laughs> He kept repeating that witches don't exist. In that case, the culprit must be among us. In the middle of a seemingly endless rain, none of us could break the silence. Chatter? Hey, called it. <laughs> a cold. Lunch ended and the servants removed the tableware and went to the kitchen. The wind and rain neither weakened nor strengthened, and the island remained cut off from the outside world. At first, it seemed as though Natsui planned to stop anyone from taking a step outside the room. But when it came time to prepare lunch, she finally realised that this would be impossible. They're not entirely cut off from the outside world, in a way. They can't communicate, however, they are still receiving the television connection. Hmm. Which then validates the point which I was about to make. <laughs> of the idea. Anyway. I think I read. I didn't realize this would be impossible. However, in order to avoid having everyone, anyone alone in the kitchen, she told the three servants to go together. And because of that, the servants were the first ones given the right to leave the stuffy parlour, which had been packed with eleven people. Since breakfast had immediately followed that terrible incident, preventing most of us from eating much. Everyone tore into their lunches in silence. Kano. 
早朝から大変だったでしょう。True. まあ、言ってしまうのも仕方ないことですよ。The only noise was that of Kamasawa washing the dishes, which resounded throughout the kitchen. Genji and Kanon sat in some chairs a short distance away, their eyes lightly closed. Just as Kamasawa had said, those two had probably built up a great deal of fatigue, working since early in the morning and then all the stuff they had to deal with. That didn't mean they could let it show in front of the relatives. Avoiding that was one of their virtues. After the silence continued for some time, Cannon opened his mouth and muttered, Shin. Mm. Uh, The fact that she died is for tragedy. Not. Hmm. Like the fact that she's killed, but she's not going to live through the um how the manner of her death really. Yeah. They both fell silent once again. Cannon's expression was filled with grief. Shannon <laughs> Kumasawa spoke with her back facing them. After all, Kumasawa hadn't seen Shannon's corpse. She couldn't see what that face had become. So she had no trouble mentioning Shannon's face. When Kanon heard those words, it reminded him again of how only half of Shannon's face had been left, and his grieving expression twisted even further. Oh. いけにえが欲しかったなら他にも大勢いただろうにどうしてどうしてただ運が悪かっただけだ少しの運が違えばシャノンの代わりにあそこに横たわっていたのは あるいは… Hmm. I'm wondering if I'm like if it is like Higurashi and there's multiple um paths, one for each of the like, episodes. I am somewhat wondering about um that whether uh because it does seem like it is chance, and that it would have been um, uh, Natsuhi that died instead. Which would have been weird, because then it would have been all of the uh, um, all of the siblings and their spouses, except neither ever nor uh, Hideyoshi. Um. But yeah, and then the thought came to me, well, what if Shannon dies in every single path anyway? <laughs> she feels like she'd have that kind of terrible luck. Or at least every path which um George proposes to her in, almost as if she uses up all of her luck, perhaps. Hmm. Genji-sama,奥様の部屋の扉に血のような跡がついていたとおっしゃっていましたね。Indeed. <laughs> Aha, I preempted his indeed. Someone like Beatrice. 
But, I mean, you have to admit, indeed always makes things more intense. But in any case, I hope you all enjoyed. I will be ending it here for today. Uh, I did that in the other way, order. But who cares? I certainly don't have a moment. <laughs> but yeah, um, in case, uh, let me know any feedback you have in the comments. And until next time, see ya.